Round number two, we're going to get into a little bit because even though it seems like the highest levels of tension with Iran and Iraq are kind of over with now, we're taking a little bit of deep breath. There was uh, still actually, over a thousand people. What? what? Sorry, what, John? To, sorry to interrupt. Uh, I have some breaking news. That plane was shot down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. We just talked yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it. We appreciate the debate, though, buddy. Thought, thought I'd let the little military guys know a little something, something about what's happening in the Middle East. Thank you. <laughs> you said that with such a level of confidence. Yeah, I, I just saw it. I I, there's, I mean, we've talked about this ad nauseum at Barcel Sports, and there's nothing better than breaking news. And I was like, oh, wait, maybe this just happened an hour ago. And they These want my guys opinion. have been recorded. Oh, I wasn't going to give opinions. Yeah. I just I was just going to lay the cards on the table and say, just so you guys know, shot down. I'll be back in 15 minutes. The veins in his <laughs> neck were bulging as he came in here to announce that. <laughs> All right. So even though the plane was shut down, tensions have kind of de-escalated a little bit. So that being said, there are still a thousand members from the 82nd Airborne. There's still a hundred Marines on deck. There's still thousands of service members in the area of Iran or Iraq ready to bounce. But right now they are sitting with tons and tons and tons of downtime, which if you're in the military or if you've been around in the military knows can lead to some very bad decisions and sometimes some very gross decisions. That being said, our social media guy, Kyle, put out a question on the zero block 30 account which if you don't follow it please do that or you'll need to follow it and i mean doing push-ups what is the most disgusting thing you witness a fellow service member do kate you want to walk us through some oh, of these you guys sure and first i would yeah, like so to we introduce just, <laughs> yes please introduce who we have in with us and why uh, he's in here a fellow barstool employee fights john feidelberg he has the most notoriously weak stomach in the entire company the smallest things make you gag. It and, make, it, it, and it sounds, it's such a ridiculous gag where the the first time I ever displayed it actually was at the Barcelona Sports 4th of July hot dog eating contest years ago. Mm -hmm. And Dave kept yelling at me because he was like, you're faking this. I was like, I'm not faking it, dude. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half a dog down, I'm gonna throw up. That was such a power move, the way I started the competition. <laughs> what are you doing gonna, with the buns? I'm gonna throw <laughs> up. If someone else throws up, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> doing that, like, what are you doing, Feidelberg? That's, that's for show, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Says the guy who was just, well, three weeks ago, was laying on the ground for an hour. I'm just trying to eat, like, a hot hot dog after exercising on a July afternoon, <laughs> and it's just not going down right. Yeah, and ever since, you have a legacy here of throwing up easily yes. and gagging easily and, and all sorts of things. So we wanted to invite you in to read off our our listeners' oh, okay. answers. Now, okay, J so. just, just to be clear about one thing, I saw a single retweet of this, <laughs> and it was someone, like, Gnawing off a rotten toenail or something. Yeah. And like, I don't, if, it's, if anything's comfortable with that, I don't know how this is going to go. Well, I, well, I can't wait to find out. I broke them into categories so I can prepare you a little bit. And the first You should one, ask him which category he'd like to start with. I'm just going to go right through it. Okay. We're going to start with sex. So some of the things we might have to explain to you a little bit, but I'm going to go right through it. Uh, at USMC, 03113 said, dangerous topic here but I saw someone eat the banana in Okinawa. We got several answers like this. And Chaps, can you explain real quick what that is? So there was a lady in Okinawa whose name was the Banana Lady. She was, whenever I was there at least, she was 81 years old. Oh my. And she had been... She had been... Uh, <laughs> I need a trash can. There you go. <laughs> She had been a stripper for your U.S. Oh troops. Oh, my God. John now has a cardboard box that he is projectile vomiting I think into. I, I honestly got, I think I need a real trash can. Oh she had been a stripper for at least 30 years. And during her performance, she would shove a banana in her vagina. <laughs> And she would tell <laughs> He is now running out of the room looking for a trash can and throwing up in said trash can. This is good. You know what? I didn't think the sex ones would get to him. But here we, we are. get through at least this one with Feidelberg. We might have to kick him out, honestly. Oh, now now Kate's, Kate has smelled the trash can. Kate's not doing well. He spits in it. He spits in it. <laughs> So relate to him what I'm saying. So 
Put his headphones back on so we can hear. Put the headphones back on, please. And then she chop, chop, chops it up. (laughs) (laughs) And then the last one is free if you eat the piece of banana. The last one's free if you eat the last banana. Right. (laughs) And so... Marines, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are now poking their heads in the studio concerned for John's well-being. At, at Baseball Beaver said, saw two of my fellow devil dogs eat the banana at the banana show without using their hands. Without using their hands. <laughs> yeah, she just flops it in there. She tosses it like a piece of popcorn at the movie theater. To which Kaiser Bill replied, well, have you ever seen the snake show in Okinawa? I don't know what that oh, is. No. All right, but we're moving on. That was the worst. We ripped the Band-Aid off. That was the worst part. At SRA, Isultani said, I was at the bottom bunk uh, bottom bunk in like a barracks kind of thing. Guy in the top bunk masturbating furiously. Didn't see it, but I felt it. Does that count? <laughs> Why is that so gross? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think John, we have, we have reached the point where we no longer need your services. Thank you very I'm, much dude, for joining I'm, us I'm tonight. Tired. I can go. You can go. Yeah, you can go. <laughs> Just so you guys know, the plane I ran was actually shot down. Thank I you. want to let you know about that. <laughs> he has tears streaming down his face. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, wait, hold on. I just want to read one real quick. Guy ate a live frog in the field for 20 bucks and some smokes. He said it pissed in his mouth when he first bit down on it. No, P doesn't bother me. I'm oh, going wow. yeah, right. with P. I'm fine with P, yeah. <laughs> he's totally I peed cool my P. bed until I was 27. P doesn't bother P me P doesn't all. bother him. He's okay. fine. It's oh, fine. No. <laughs> totally good. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. John's not doing too well with the stories from the military of people the with grossest downtime. Things. Gross stories. The grossest things oh. that military members have ever done. And it's going to be a good episode. The banana! Devlin, if you don't know who the banana is, go don't you go Google it. Don't Listen to the it. episode yeah. tomorrow on Zero Block 30 and you'll find out. Hey, John, a good one. John, this one guy said he ate vomit on a dare. <laughs> He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Chapsy. <laughs> Love you too, buddy. What a treat. Thank Ladies and gentlemen, Thanks, John, John Heidelberg, the, the weakest stomach in all of the strongest strongest hair game. Weakest, weakest stomach. stomach. That's a shame. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Was, this guy said, there's a lot of fleshlight answers, so I only mm-hmm. picked a few. At Mobilia11 said, trade a Leatherman for a used fleshlight. Mm-hmm. Uh Lost in the Saw said, pass the flashlight from the top bunk down to the bottom bunk. Jesus. Um, at Matt Fiend said, three dudes shared an Avatar-themed flashlight, then passed it on to the next training class. Noah, ba- Noah LaBear said, half of our flight shared one trimmer to Manscaped the day before boot camp graduation. Okay, I, see, I don't think that's gross. That's I think that, that that's, that's like common. You, not everybody has little clippers. You got to share. Right. But that's just no different than using hair clippers at a, a barber shop. They use yeah, the just rub a little on alcohol on it and you're good. Right, I don't right. think that's gross. Well, lest I remind you, I was the shower recruit in boot camp, and <laughs> yeah. I was the one stuck cleaning up a mountain of pubes the day before family day. That would have got Feidelberg for sure. All right, next category: eating and drinking horrible things for money and or clout. Um, and there was a lot I left off the sex one just because a lot yeah. of answers I left off the sex one just because I, I couldn't. I would have been like fights. Can I? There's not many times I go back and I say to the listener or to the active duty service member what they should be doing. I would like to take a little time out, do a little lesson in leadership. Folks, don't make other people eat your cum. Like, if they don't right. want oh to, and God. it's not something. There was some answers that I was like, that's I didn't assault, see that brother. One. That's assault. Oh, wait, no, so. I did see that one. There was a couple yeah, like, like oh, you can't yeah. just take a bag of granola, nut in it, and give it to your friends. Like, no, that's, that's not funny. Just that's really not funny, funny right? There's people who thought their answers were funny that I was genuinely like, you might want to change your life. We might have to put yourself. you on a list. Um, but eating and drinking horrible things for money and or clout. Um, for me, once in the field, we were at M9 Qual. And a guy drank for 50 bucks, drank a, like the, a good amount of dip spit. And then another guy was like, whatever, dude, I could do better than that. Found a lizard alive, just put the whole thing in his mouth and ate it with like the guts dribbling down his Whoa, chin. Oh, he just, just, just started chewing. Popped it in his mouth wow. and just went to town on that sucker. In my so, opinion, the lizard part, that's just good damn training. Like you never know where you're going to be. Like a jungle warfare trainer center. Yeah, whatever. You can get a little bit of protein, extra calories because you have one MRE essentially for two and a half days. You got to sure. make it go. 
Mm. Yeah, we had people in here, a lot of people eating lizards, a lot of people eating snakes. Uh, like you said, the guy eating the frog for 20 bucks and some smokes that pissed in his mouth when he bit down. Um, I like this one at River MD 16 because it's the kind of like so much random shit happens. Mm -hmm. While in Oki, we had a guy eat sushi that was found in the middle of the road. By all accounts, sushi had been there a while. It was a really hot day of the year. He just ate the sushi. Didn't ask for See, any money. In my opinion, after having been in Okinawa for almost four years, that's no longer sushi. That's just grilled fish. That's it's sure. really fish, hot. Right. You're cooking it on the coral. You're just having fish with rice. That's at not that, point. that bad. But I love that not asking for money, just like doing it to make your friends laugh, just like hurting yourself to make your buddies laugh is so, so oh, military. Yeah. Uh, a lot of more eating lizards. At MOS school, Fort Ooh. Sill, one of the 0811s ate a fairly substantial scab off another PFC. <laughs> That yeah, that made one's fucked up. My oh, man. toe was curled. Kind of wish John was here for that one. <laughs> At Mr. Glenn, uh, who I believe is like a legit reporter somewhere, he said, ate some vomit on a dare. <laughs> At Eric Dem said, threw up, he saw a guy throw up on a garage floor, and then the guy said, oh, ooh, chicken nuggets, picked up a chunk and ate it. <clears throat> Haven't I at think, and I've told this story before, like in that same vein, the grossest thing I've ever seen in my life was a doctor, a veterinarian, whenever he was doing the necropsy on one of the working dogs that was that had to be put down, I went and watched like what happened because I, I was interested in like the medical side of what was going on. He opened the dog's stomach and ate a piece of a Cheeto out of the dog's stomach. Like that was already there. That that's yeah, gross. That's Here, right. but here's what I'm thinking about right now. You've ever taken gum out of somebody else's mouth and then started chewing it yourself? No, no. never, no, never dude. during like a not even like a significant other, just like Fuck as a goof, no. just no. like took your gum. Get out of here! All right, that, I've had I, it happen oh. to me where a friend like popped the bubble that I was blowing and then just like literally ripped it out of my mouth and started chewing it. Everybody looked at him like he had six heads. Like, bro, what are you doing? Well, but, my point being, when you first pop it in your mouth, it tastes a little weird, but then like one chew and your saliva gets on it and then it's fine and you don't even taste it what does anymore. this have to do with the guy eating chicken nugget because vomit? i think that would be the same oh, type of scenario oh, where once you pop the chicken nugget taste, in your mouth it wasn't a chicken nugget it was a chunk of vomit and the guy was so drunk he said no oh, it looks nuggets. like i i read it yeah, as one like stomach eaten, as acid is involved it's totally different ball game i don't know i read it as that was chicken nuggets that the gentleman ate that he threw up yeah. Oh God! I just looked at Oakley's this? wearer, who looks like an way. Oakley's wearer, <laughs> and his answer was a beer waterfall off the ball sack. And this is our social media guy, Kyle's friend, I believe, that, that posted. <laughs> he this guy had a couple great answers. Um, at at gent five four six, yeah, beer waterfall off the ball sack. Um, I love this one. There was a few answers about people smuggling food during boot camp. At mm -hmm. Maddie Mock said, during boot, a dude stuck an extra piece of bread under his junk to eat later, and he did four hours after chow in the field. Um, I love this one. At Jonathan Danielson said, had a buddy lose a bet while in Sands Middle Range for FTX, did his punishment, which was chugging a 53-ounce bag of marinara Good sauce. God. He did it. And they included pictures. First, they're holding up this huge bag. It's like a bag of wine. If you're picturing like the box wine, the bag of wine, it was like that, but with spaghetti sauce. They're holding it up. They're real excited. He's about to eat it. In the end, he's wearing a trash bag bent over. And the look of joy on his buddy's faces mm -hmm. that he finished this huge bag of sauce is like, I'm like, that's what the military is all about, man. I mean, that's the acidity, feet, that's the acidity feet, in like, that mar marinara sauce, the amount of diarrhea oh. that this guy would have and what that would, it would feel like flames coming oh, out. Oh, yeah. His buddies are smiling and he looks like he's about to die. Um, I love this one. At Decamp4417 said, there was a giant grill in the smoke pit of our barracks everyone knew not to touch. Drunk Marines would throw up or piss on it on several occasions. <laughs> we showed up to a mandatory fun day barbecue and saw the CO and Sergeant Major grilling the entire command's food on it. I don't think that's that bad. <laughs> Once I don't you either. start the fire Next going, point. you're oh, killing all the germs. Get the I think fuck you're fine. Here. I like this one. At Sean M said, saw a dude catch a fly and eat it. And we were by the porta shitters. A few people of eating in porta shitters and eating bugs around the porta shitters. Um, I like this one. <laughs> Down, downtime on a long field op. A broke E3 had a big group of people promising him cash, including half a dozen NCOs singing the Marine Corps hymn to pump him up to eat a piece of shit from one of our <laughs> IED dogs. Wow. <laughs> he washed it down with MRE peanut butter and only got $10 of the 120 Oh, that's promise. fucked that's up. That's terrible. That's fucked up. Oh, that's fucked, that's up. fucked up. He ate this dog poop. I love that the NCOs were like, come on, dude, let's go. Singing the Marine Look, Corps. Look, listen, really th because it was NCOs and staff NCOs who did this, Wispy Neckbeard, if you're listening, 
DM me on DM me and from your handle, and I will Venmo you one hundred and ten dollars to make up for what you were so wrongly not given. No, he, this is he saw it happen to another E three. I oh, well, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Then. So That's offers off the table. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but still, I'm oh, sorry, wispy beard, uh, wispy neck beard. <laughs> at JP Meehan 22, at basic training, I woke up in the middle of the night to take a piss, and this kid was sitting up in his bed with his foot in his mouth, biting his toenails. That's the Air Force for you. At Jeff Jeffy Go Boom, well, I, I don't think that is the that. Air Force for you. I <laughs> think that's, that's a very <laughs> Army and Marine move. How is that? Is that any different than people biting their fingernails? Yes, yes because it's your feet. Are you, is that a real question? <laughs> what? All right, I'm just checking. I'm just checking. I'm just oh asking. Oh, my God. I'm just asking. What are you the doing effort the that you got to do to go no, because, through biting oh, no. your toenails? You have to stick your entire foot in your mouth. Here's here's why I think it's no different. Because if you think about your hands, you touch things all all day, every day, and then there's germs all over your hands, whereas your feet, by and large, could be encased in a sock and a shoe, kept away from all the germs. Yes, but my hands No, are... I, I, I see what Kanz is saying there. I think he actually is right. You touch way more gross shit with your hands than you right. do your yes, feet. Yes, but you wash your hands way more than your feet. Nah, speak for yourself, Kate. Oh, my yeah. God. You guys are so Who gross. Who washes their feet? <laughs> I pe- wash my feet every fucking night, dude. Dude, most people just let the soap kind of come down their legs, onto their feet. If you wash your feet, I need to know because that's not something I do every day. Hand up. I heard Marilyn Manson can bite his toenails pretty easily. <laughs> Anyways, he finally get that rib removed. <laughs> he did. At Jeffy Go Boom said one o three fifty one sucking on the bent toe hook of another o three fifty one. That's an infantry MOS for those listening. After being in Morocco for a week with no showers, the counter dare was to do a body shot of sweat out of another Marine's belly button. Uh, at Alex Townsend said we this this really grossed me out for some reason. This one of all things. At Alex Townsend said. We had a dude that never rinsed his mouth while brushing his teeth in the field, and he never spit either. He would just swallow his toothpaste. <laughs> I, that, I mean, it's I get it. It's gross, the field. It's not terrible. Weird. I like this one. Well, did you know you're not supposed to rinse your mouth after yes. you what? Yeah, you're your supposed teeth. to let the you're stuff supposed to just sit on spit your teeth. it, and then the fluoride stays in your mouth. Yep. Uh, oh, I just That's can't. the appropriate way to brush your teeth. Mm-hmm. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. I like this one. Ari Mandel said this was pretty gross and linked a YouTube thing that just says Miller eats a grub. Oh, dude, fucking Timon and Puma. He's a lot of shit, man. Fuck it. This is what bored soldiers do in the field when there's nothing not else to do. Derek Miller does in the field. Son of a bitch, you <laughs> oh, motherfucker. He's chewing on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you're fucking crazy as <laughs> shit, dude. Oh my fucking god, man. With a I don't think eating a grub is back. that gross. Oh no, god, that's, I again, do. that goes back to survival mode. If you just got to yeah. get some protein. And this one closing out the food and or drink for clout thing. At Bobby Jimmy sixteen said during a twenty first birthday party, dude chugged a pitcher and immediately regurgitated it back into the pitcher. Another dude picked it up and drank it. Nope. <laughs> you know, that is hard no. All right, I know Kate has a bunch more, but we have, I think we've reached the end of, so why don't we give, I'll give you two save rounds on this one, Kate, because I think we have exhausted the fact that Marines and Army and Sailors and Airmen do really gross shit. 